There's that fancy intro again. Uh, welcome to the second edition of the Chill Sports Blog. I guess we're just go with that name. Pretty simple. Me, simple. Sports, simple. That's what we're going for for this. Uh, like I said, welcome to the second uh, second video blog. Uh, welcome back. The first viewers, if you join me for the first time, I am Cody. Most call me Chills. Keep it simple. We'll call it Chills. I like to keep it chill. Everything chill and relaxed in uh, the chill zone, if you will. But, um... A lot of things to talk about today, uh, a lot of big things happening today in sports. Uh, big night tonight as well in the sports world. Uh, we talk about today, we talk about the World Cup a little bit, talk about Wimbledon, the College World Series, uh, Major League Baseball, a little NFL news, and uh, of course the NBA Draft, the big thing on ta uh, tap tonight. I'll start it off with the World Cup. Uh, no surprise, been the biggest thing in uh, sports here recently. And uh, uh, it's no different here uh, today. Uh, kind of a shocking upset out of Group E today. Groups E and F took the pitch today. And uh, out of Group E, Japan, a 3-1 win over Denmark. Uh, and the Netherlands, 2-1 over Cameroon. So Japan and Netherlands, two uh, very uh, uh, teams. Netherlands, you can kind of expect in there. But Japan, you definitely did not really expect to be in there in a Group E with... Uh, Denmark, Cameroon, you know, two very good quality other opponents that could easily challenge Netherlands. And sure enough, it was uh, Japan to sneak through. Uh, in Group F today, Paraguay, a uh, nil-nil draw to New Zealand. And uh, they will advance on with goal differential as well as Slovakia. Uh, big uh, upset today, Slovakia 3-2 over Italy. Italy did the defending World uh, Cup champs, Italia, out. Uh, no Vici to uh, this year. Uh, they remember your defending champs of the World Cup last year. They beat France last year in the World Cup. And you kind of have to wonder, maybe is uh, Italy going to go ahead now that they're ousted out of the World Cup? Are they going to get kind of a return home that France had? Uh, France uh, got home this morning in Paris. And police uh, mobbing the airport, uh, guarding to keep the French players, coaches away from the media and the fans. It was a frenzy scene. Uh, big disappointment on the French side. You have to wonder if Italy... These are the two teams in the finals last year, both out in the first round group play. You have to wonder, uh, Italy going to probably get that same reception uh, when they return home. Uh, the final two groups out of group play tomorrow will play their last games, groups G and, uh, and H. Really great matches all the way through North Korea and Ivory Coast. Uh, and group G will start it off at 10 o'clock on ESPN and then flip it over to ESPN2. Uh, Brazil and Portugal. A uh, real great matchup. Uh, two really talented teams. Anything can happen in that group, G. All teams are still available to maybe get in on goal differential or make it in. And uh, anything can happen with those teams. And the seeding where they'll play, uh, you never know what can happen. And then group H is wide open. I mean, some team can have six points in this, you know, by winning two games, and they're still going to get left out of this. Uh, Chile and Spain tomorrow, late afternoon, 2.30, Eastern Daylight Time in the United States. And then uh, Switzerland and Honduras. Also going to go at it. So any of those four teams at a group age, it, it, it's up for grabs really for any of those teams, and and it's definitely going to see a lot of teams going all the way until the full time and into stoppage time. I think for a couple of these games to determine it. And remember, we talked about it yesterday. The tiebreaker, after you get you know three points for a win, one point for a draw, you don't get any points for a loss. If you're tied in points, that t first tiebreaker is goal differential. And we talked about that. I had a question about it from a viewer. Goal differential. It's how much you beat a team by or how much you lose to a team by in your first couple games, that's going to add up. And when you finally come to your third and final game here in group play, that's going to come into uh, a big factor. That's why you always have to play through the whistle and play until the play is dead and never give up. And uh, So we'll definitely see what happens with that tomorrow. Real, real great World Cup uh, first round group play is ending tomorrow. and um, It was really great, exciting action, and I don't expect it to lack on you tomorrow either. Uh, flip over to Wimbledon real quick. The uh, big Grand Slam tennis tournament over in England. Uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about the epic match that you will never see in your life again. Uh, the record for aces are broken. Total points. Longest match. It was finally ended today. Uh, American John Eisner, uh, the Georgia Bulldog alumnus, uh, he won uh, defeating Nicolas Mahout, the Frenchman, 70-68 to uh, in games in the fifth set. Uh, the whole match lasted over 11 hours and about eight and a half hours in the fifth set alone. Remember, there's no tiebreaker at uh, Wimbledon in the fifth set, so an amazing match, and John Eisner will move on. you got to think he's probably going to be pretty dead, though, for his match tomorrow. Uh, on the men's side, Nadal, Murray, and Soderling, the favorites all today, all did win uh, once again. And on the women's side, uh, Serena Williams 
Wozniacki and, and Radwanska on the women's side all ahead and uh, advance as well. Uh, real quick, one game, College World Series tonight, Oklahoma and South Carolina. An elimination game tonight, 7 o'clock ESPN. Be sure to tune into that. Uh, baseball, real quick, uh, the White Sox won their ninth in a row today. Hottest team in all of baseball. Really starting to charge up the uh, standings there in the, NL, or in the AL Central. excuse me. Uh, White Sox playing some great baseball. Paul Canorco uh, hit the uh, go-ahead uh, shot today. Go ahead and give him the, uh, lift him to the win. Uh, playing the best baseball right now in Major Leagues. You really have to worry about them. Are they going to stay around the AL Central, maybe make a move around uh, the trade deadline? You never know. Uh, Reels also quick also in the Major League Baseball. If you remember back to that moron who ran onto the field in Philadelphia, the teenager who called his dad, told him I'm going to run onto the field, asked his dad, dad said it wasn't a good idea. He ran onto the field anyway, then uh, they tasered him. Uh, today he was it was announced he was just going to be put on probation. No jail time, uh, nothing for him other than probation, and I believe it's 100 community service hours. Uh, for as much publicity and stuff he's going to get and book deals he already has getting for this, I think 100 hours of community service and probation for a year is a, a pretty okay penalty. Uh, I know you're, everyone's probably sick about hearing about it. I'm sick about hearing about it. Uh, Brett Favre today in the NFL uh, announced he would love to beat the best, come back and beat the best, and the best would be New Orleans, the Saints. Look into it if you want. Maybe him coming back. You never know. Uh, and then finally tonight, the last thing we're going to talk about, the NBA draft. Uh, big thing, had a couple people ask me about the NBA draft, who I think is going to go in the first couple picks, any surprises, had a couple feedback on, uh, if I had a mock draft, as they call it, who would I pick? Uh, pretty much the same as just about any other analyst you're going to see out there. Uh, we all kind of think alike, I guess. Uh, number one pick, no doubt, the Washington Wizards would be John Wall. Uh, you got to take the best player in the draft when you have a number one pick like this, and you really have a lot of needs. The Wizards have a lot of needs. Uh, John Wall, uh, no doubt, the best player available in this draft right away. And, uh, you know, they've tried big men in the past. You know, example, Kwame Brown just hasn't worked out. I think they're going to try to rebuild around uh, rebuild around John Wall here and see what happens. Uh, the two pick is the 76ers. Rumors they could trade it. Rumors then also that maybe uh, coming out now to ESPN uh, that they won't. I don't think they will either. I think they want to go ahead and take a, a real pure score, something that Philly has been lacking. Uh, and no better, I think, best pure scorer in this draft than Evan Turner out of the uh, out of Ohio State, the Buckeye, uh, All American first team, second year in a row, uh, best pure scorer. You, you got to take him if you're Philadelphia. Uh, the three pick is the Nets. The four pick is the T Wolves. Uh, T Wolves could trade up. Nets could trade down to them. Uh, Nets right now looks like they may take Derek Favors, the four forward out of uh, Georgia Tech, with that three spot. Uh, Wesley Johnson is the other player out of Syracuse, a, bro, a real strong physical big man, but he can play the post as well and, and post you up and, and shoot over you once in a while as well uh, out of Syracuse. He, he could be the four pick. Either way, one of those two is going to go three and four. And uh, the fifth pick, uh, DeMarcus Cousins, it looks like, for the Kings. I'll go ahead and slide him into that spot. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins, the uh, big man out of uh, the University of Kentucky. A lot of great guys coming out of that class in Kentucky uh, this year so. You, you, you never know what's going to happen there. And uh, I was asked, too, do I have someone off the radar? I was asked that by uh, a viewer. And uh, best player, I think, kind of off the radar, who I think is going to uh, kind of make an impact in the NBA right away, uh, Quincy Pondexter, the guard forward out of uh, Washington, out of the Pac-10, out of the West Coast. No one really knows about him. Uh, you can see him probably going anywhere in the late first round, it looks like, anywhere from pick 26 up to maybe 29 or so. Uh, real good, pure score. He played guard, forward. Uh, probably see him in the guard as a bigger two guard in the NBA. Uh, but either way, he looks like he could be a real good scorer. And uh, my Orlando Magic are down there picking at 28, 29. So if they could pick him up, I, I, I would have no problem with that, definitely. But uh, that will do it here with the uh, second Chill Sports blog today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this one ran a little longer today. NBA draft talk about. But, uh,. See what happens tonight with that. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, uh, I'm just left. Don't call me right. But uh, that'll end the uh, second show sports vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, always, always, always questions, comments, concerns, feedback. Always appreciated. And uh, you and yours have a good one, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care.